Guys, really good to see you. And amongst the many incredible things about this uh, film is that um, these two had never skated. I know, like, for Dancing on Ice or whatever, people say, well, I've never skated, but then they get three months of training. Yeah. You guys Absolutely. had how long? We had three weeks, two or three, two, two weeks. Or three weeks, yeah. Which was only about two, two hours a day as well, so it wasn't very much at all. So what level were you supposed to get to? Did you have to be able to go backwards or do a spin? Uh, we we, we really? did being able to go backwards, but we don't show that in the, in the, actual, um, in the actual movie. But um, we, we, I suppose the idea was that we'd be comfortable enough mm. on the ice so that we could do the scenes on the ice mm. and that would be fine. Um, but we did have doubles. We had the amazing Nick Buckland and Penny Coombs, who are actually British Olympians themselves, who are yeah. our doubles. So they do all the very impressive parts. <laughs> I mean, still James... think you would have to have a certain level of confidence, you know, even for, yeah, you know, walking around, you know, so, so that, you, you know, your body does this <laughs> or whatever, whatever, you know, and the, as, as you're on there. I mean, I would be, I would be just frozen. Right, right. I think I just had to sell it in the arms, really, to throw yes. a few balletic arm movements in there and yeah. try and get away with it. And they are national treasures, yeah. the two of them, aren't they? And, and, and also they had a whole new audience with Dancing on Ice. I mean, you, yeah. you, saw, you weren't born in 1984, no. were you, no, when, no. They, when they did the Bolero? So, They've got this fantastic... Um, you know, the public have this amazing mm. love for them. Were, was it quite daunting, then, thinking we've got to now tell their story and be them? Mm. Well, we've talked about this. I think yeah. the pressure is only kind of coming about now, because mm. everyone keeps saying that. <laughs> um, but when, obviously, we're doing our scenes, we're really just thinking about the story and the characters, yeah. less about, you know, the reality that we're playing these icons. And we, we found out about the jobs... I know I did, about only three days before we started training, and then training went directly into shooting, so there really wasn't very much time. Um, and we were thinking, you know, having to think so much about the actual skating. Um, <laughs> so, so that kind of took up yeah. our brain space, I suppose. Did you what? fall over much? A little there was some falling. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What are we going to find out? Are we going to find out uh, things about Christopher and Jane that we didn't know? I, I think we definitely will. I think what's interesting about them is is people know their routine so well, and mm. and you look at old interviews and they're so shy, and then squaring that with the the their routines as well is very strange because they're so expressive um, there. But there's this middle section, which is what we tell, the story of kind of how they, they came to work together. Mm. Um, and it's that, that stuff which I don't think many people know. And so what I they can... did before, yeah, before they were skaters. Mm. So Chris was a police officer. Yeah. Jane worked as an insurance clerk. I mean, so... I think Chris stayed in the police force. He, he did, yeah. Really up quite close to when they went to the Olympics, didn't he? That's but... right. Well, there was, there was a point that I, through my research I found out that actually they were considering maybe this can't work because the pressures of, of policing. Mm. Um, but, but thankfully they did. And... You say research there. I mean, there must yes. be lots of footage of them dancing and ice yeah. skating, yeah. but not much of them as them. So how That's did right. you study yeah. them? Well, it's lovely mm -hmm. to see the routines that mm. you're not as familiar with because, you know, a lot of people know the Bolero, but when you look at Mac and Mabel mm. and some of the other routines, I'd really recommend checking them out because they're incredible. Mm. Um, but it's also hard to tell what they were really like mm. from just watching the interviews mm. because mm. you're obviously a certain type of person in the interviews. You've got kind of a guard up, mm. possibly. Um, so, but we were lucky we got to have a FaceTime with them yeah. um, before we started shooting. So um, we got a kind of rough idea of what they were like and what they were like together as well. That kind was of, the interesting thing. Yeah, they, it was really exciting. Extraordinary, their relationship and how, even though they were on separate calls actually, so one was on a laptop and one was on a phone, yeah. and they were still finishing each other's sentences across that barrier. It's really extraordinary. So like you and me, sink. love. It's like, us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like us. Um, you haven't actually met them in person yet, no. though. No, no, we're meeting them today for the oh, first yeah. time, yes. Yeah, which is it's incredibly exciting, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be lovely. Well, before you do meet them, they've actually sent a message for you today because they knew you were going to be on. Oh, yeah, look at oh. that. Hi, Will. Hey, Poppy. Thank you for doing such a great job with the movie. Well done. Yeah, and we hope you keep the skating up and we hope that you keep wearing purple and lycra. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I hope oh, they wow. like the finished That's article. so nice. Um, final question. Uh, when it came to the Bolero, right, mm. and that Olympic winning performance, mm. was that on your shoulders to recreate or how did they handle that? Well, That's I don't... Question, yeah, yeah, I don't want to give too much away about the the movie, but... Do they use actual footage from the Olympic performance? I don't know if we're allowed to say, <laughs> other than 
You have to watch it. You have to watch it. You have to watch it. It's not really surprised. Other than she doesn't want to get herself into trouble, so we have to watch it. <laughs> uh -huh. So we did do bits of, of routines, but not. We got to yeah. wear the costume. We got to wear the costumes as well. Was which really wow. Lovely. Yeah. That's, they, that's they interesting. Well, they recreated oh. them. Obviously, not well, original. the Bolero costume was actually made by the designer who designed the original. Costume. Exact same so, fabric. Yeah, so which is oh, a, yeah. available. Oh, yeah. Well, look, it will be the must watch thing on Christmas night. Absolutely. It's 9 15, Christmas Day on ITV. Uh, will and Poppy Lee, thank you both thank very you. much. Thank, thank you very so much, much for having me. Thank you very much.